Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. I'm DJ Unity, also known as Double Dragon 912. And today, 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 ladies and gentlemen, got another top 10 for you guys and girls. Today, I am doing my top 10 favorite modern beat em ups of all time. Wow. Now, what I mean by modern, ladies and gentlemen, these games are made in the 2000s. I don't know the exact year, but I know they no no older than at least 2000. So they're in the 2000s. And ladies and gentlemen, these beat 'em ups has been a beat em, If you are a beat 'em up fan out there, this has been a beat 'em up renaissance for us. They've been bringing out all types of beat 'em ups. Wow, I'm just hype! Beat 'em ups are finally back. Before, cause for a while there, ladies and gentlemen, we wasn't getting no type of beat 'em ups. All we was getting was. Bang, 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 shooter. Bang, 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 shooter. Bang, 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 shooter. Now, shooters are going out the window, which is good. And now, beat em ups are finally back. And I am so happy. I am so hype. I am hype. But, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, these are my top 10 favorite modern beat em ups of all time. Before I get into this, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to um, say that I do have a top 20 favorite beat em ups of all time video. I did it before, I gotta redo it. That's gonna come up later. So let's get into the modern beat em ups first, and then we're gonna do my favorite 20 of all time. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into this. Sorry, I've been talking too much. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number 10 on my top 10 favorite modern beat em ups of all time has to be 99 Vitas. Wow. Now, 99 Vitas, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to my homie, Nate Omatic, and my homie, Caleb. We played through this game, but we never did beat it. We got to the last boss, and we never could beat it. And uh, eventually, I'm going to sit down and play this game. But this game is off the chain. It's like, if Streets of Rage had a baby, this is the game. It's like a modern Streets of Rage. Four-player co-op, offline and online co-op, which is great. And uh, this game has some DLC that they, they, they charge, like, I think, $2 for. Because this game first came out on PS4. And uh, PS3, and I think came out on 360 and Xbox One. I think, correct me, I'm wrong down in the comment section. And at the end, I added DLC. But that's one good thing about this for you Switch owners out there. If you buy it on the Switch, not only will you get a physical copy, but it also comes with all the DLC on the on the um, the cartridge. So Switch owners, if you want to get into this beat 'em up, this is great for you because y'all have a physical copy. And you, the, uh, all the DLC is on the disc. But this is a great game, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, take Streets of Rage and just a high-tech version of Streets of Rage. And for the longest, before Streets of Rage 4 came out, this was our Street. So I was like, man, this might be our Streets of Rage 4 because, hey, we ain't getting nothing else. <laughs> Sick act like they don't want to do nothing. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number 10 has to be 99 Vitas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got this thing rolling, rolling, rolling. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number nine has to be River City Girls. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, River City Girls is a homage to beat em ups. All, I mean, it's a whole series. If you did not know, this game is a pretty much a direct sequel to what happened back in the day. Uh, I think it's Kino Kun something. And the first game, I haven't played it yet. Actually, I have played it, but I haven't beat it yet. Came out on Super Nintendo over there in uh, Japan. And it's a story about uh, pretty much the boyfriends that you trying to save in River City Girls. This is their story, and this is what leads up to that. 
which is tight. Now they uh, made a uh, River City, I think it's River City, Pre I forgot the name of the new one. It's pretty much that game, just reach in and made better. And you can get that right there. You can play that one, then you can play River City Girls, then you can play River City Girls 2. All that's all in the uh, Kingdom Coon universe, which is tight. Shouts out to Wade Ford for making this awesome game. River City Girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you did not know, beat them up, they simple. Uh, pretty much y'all, you and your homegirl, this was a t tight twist to it, y'all in detention, and next thing you know, your boyfriends get kidnapped, and you got to go save the boyfriends. You know, most of the time, you got to save your girlfriend, but this time, they did it reverse. They made it where the girls had to save the boy. That's pretty tight, though. River City Girls is an awesome game, ladies and gentlemen. I still have not sat down and beat this one. I know y'all like, wow, sidekicks, uh, Double Dragon, how you gonna put it on your top 10? You haven't beat it. Listen, there's a lot of games out here nowadays. And, you know, if you grown, <laughs> you grown in this world, y'all know. Uh, it's hard sometimes to play all the games out there. I'm gonna get to River City Girls. I promise you, I will beat it. Just haven't had a chance. There's been so many great beat em ups out there lately. I give beat em ups credit nowadays. They just they they, they flourish and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm 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 walking on sunshine. Oh and don't it feel good. Let me stop. Yeah. River City Girls, ladies and gentlemen, is off the chain. Great game to get. It's available on all the consoles. PS4, Nintendo Switch, PS5. I was so tight about the PS4 version. If you have a PS5, if you pop in the PS4 disc, you can actually get the disc. Shout out to uh, Radical, Radical Reggie. Uh, you can order this off Play Asia. They got the Japanese version, which is in all English. And if you pop it in your PS5, it give you River City Girls 1 and River City Girls 2. I try to do that physical, try to keep physical alive. But what well, type about it, if you got the PS4 version of River City Girls, popping in there, they automatically upgrade you to the PS5 version for free, which is tight. Shout out to Wade Ford for doing that, ladies and gentlemen. I am so hyped. This game is real good, ladies and gentlemen. I beat the first boss on the game. Just got to finish it, sit down, play it, and finish it. It's a great game to have, ladies and gentlemen. I highly recommend you get this. If you're going to get it, now I remember what the first game is. Your River City, River City Girls Zero, I think that's what they call it. Then River City Girls, then get River City Girls 2. Because it's three games, and you play them in that order, and bam, you good. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number nine has to be River City Girls. Moving right along. Moving right along. Alright ladies and gentlemen, coming in ladies and gentlemen at number 8 has to be Jitsu Squad. Wow ladies and gentlemen, Jitsu Squad is off the chain. I first was seeing this game, I was on Twitter, and I was just, I had beat em ups going up and down on my timeline, or what they call X now. But uh, I saw this game, I was like, man that game look tight, that look off the chain. And Jitsu Squad is uh, homage to all your favorite beat em up tropes out there. Shouts out to Maximilian because he has a special move on there with him and Benny coming there. Come on, Benny, let's do this. Hello, can they do a duking on there? That is off the chain. Uh, special guest character that come in there. And just to squad, me and my brother beat this game. Oh, man, off the chain. Got your special moves, your level up moves, uh, like RPG elements in there. Some dude fight with a sword, some dude fight with his fist, some dude fight with a bow. And they, you know, they animal looking character, but they tight, digitized sprites. I don't know if I'm saying it right, y'all. Forgive me. I don't know about that graphics crap. I just like a good game. Great gameplay. Uh, full player co-op. Only downfall to this game. 
Shout out to the Radical Reg. He said that no online co-op. I wish they had online co-op on this. That's the only gripe I have about this game. They had, uh, had online co-op, it'd be even better. But it's still a great game, ladies and gentlemen. I think this game is out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's out on Switch. I'm pretty sure it's probably on Switch. Switch get everything, just like the regular consoles do. And it's $30, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good price. If you can, uh, get the physical version. I had the physical version, but I ended up buying the digital version because I had to... Uh, I don't even want to talk about that, what happened with my physical version. Uh, I need to rebuy the physical version just to try to keep physical media alive. Keep physical media alive! Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number eight has to be Jitsu Squad. Go ahead, big Oh, I see you warmed up with your basic attack chain. Yes, that's very good. Yes, the first section. Y'all heard it. However, a warrior keeps their focus in the heat of combat, waiting for the moment, no, the perfect moment to strike. I think you got a weapon bar. A weapon meter down at the bottom. Uh -huh. When it's full, I think you can use some. I think. Uh -huh. I may be wrong, man. Right? I'm just gonna do something. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at a clean number seven has to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, probably get a hot take on this one, but it's number seven on my list, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all probably like, number seven, it should be her. Well, Shredder's Revenge, don't get me wrong, it's a great game. I ain't taking nothing away from it. But when people try to say, talk, well, I ain't gonna call nobody out, but when people. Some people try to say that it was better than uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. I like, you are, to quote my homie John, shout out to you John, you are smoking crack, my friend. Now, don't get me wrong, Shred's Revenge is a great update to the, to the older game, Turtle game we used to play that Konami made. But it's not better than them, so don't even go there with me on that. Y'all can talk about that down there in the comment section. But anyway, let me get to the game. Shred's Revenge is off the chain. You can play with the four turtles on there, and you can unlock, uh, you play with Master Splinter and April O'Neil fights on this one. And you're going to unlock Casey Jones, he's a secret character. Now they got the DLC out there, uh, where you can uh, play with uh, the Ujimbo, I keep messing up his name, he's the rabbit from uh, the, the Turtles series. And you can play with Karai, Shredder's daughter, so you can play with her on there too. And all this is packed into one game, and it is worth the purchase, ladies and gentlemen. Six player co-op now you can do six player co-op on all the systems except ps4 i don't know why you can't do it on ps4 uh well let me rephrase that so you can do six player co-op locally on all the systems except ps4 you can still do six player co-op on ps4 online of course you can do that with all the characters with all the, the systems but uh my only gripe about this game i need to stop talking about the graphics and get into why i love the game so much all the gripe about this game is, you know, the, the, the turtles are too small. Now, you playing just one, two, three, maybe even four players. No, you can't. They, your turtle kind of get lost on four players. And don't even get me started on six players. You you can't even see your tur turtle. You don't even know what, what's going on because too much stuff on the screen. Turtles need to be bigger. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great game. You can upgrade your character, unlock new moves. Uh, got a tight storyline. Shredder trying to get his revenge. He pissed off at you. And apparently this takes place right after uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Secret of the Ooze movie. And Shredder back and he acting crazy. And you got all your, uh, your turtles in there. And good music. Ain't better than old school music. But it's got some good music on there. Man, I don't put a lot of time in it. I, I beat it on Xbox Live when I first had it. You know, I... I got it on uh, Game Pass. My brother hooked me up with that. Uh, then I went here. I had to go ahead and get cop that. I, I bought it on uh, PS4. And man, it's 
is off the chain. Shred's Revenge is a must-have. If you are a beat-em-up fan, you need to have Shredder's Revenge in your collection. It's a must-have. You can't call yourself a beat-em-up fan. I say this much. If you don't own Shred's Revenge or have played Shred's Revenge, that's how great the game is. I ain't taking nothing away from it. The game is off the chain. Good music, good beat-em-up at its finest. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number seven has to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number six has to be Final Vendetta. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Final Vendetta is a great beat em up. It's just, it ain't trying to do too much, ladies and gentlemen. If it ain't broke, Final Vendetta ain't trying to fix it. They just added to it, ladies and gentlemen. They took what works with beat em ups and added to it, which I love. Now, Final Vendetta, you play with three characters. Uh, you got a girl on there, uh, dude, black dude on there, and then the other dude uh, that you. Which I don't like. You have to. I need to stop being negative on these games. I'm. This is my, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last time I'm gonna be negative on game on, on my beat em ups. I need to stop doing that. Uh, let me tell you about all the positives. Um, we found a Vandella, ladies and gentlemen. In order to unlock the, uh, like I think a, another mode on there, you have to beat it on hard with the the, the last guy, the, the wrestling guy, and he to me he's the worst on the game. But either way. It's a great beat em up to have, ladies and gentlemen. What happened with this beat em up? Well, well, a lot of people probably don't know about this beat em up. This beat em up came out like maybe a day or on the same day as Shredder's Revenge, and it kind of got lost in the shuffle. But I highly recommend you pick up my Final Vendetta. It's on PS4, Switch, all the consoles. It's on every console, so and PC too. Pick it up, ladies and gentlemen. It's your typical beat em up fun. You got your special moves on there. Uh, Hack and slash, just beat em ups at its finest. It ain't trying to do too much. It's a pretty much a homage to the old school beat em up genre. And I like it. I love Final Vendetta. I, I'm gonna go back through it and beat it again because I don't beat it before. Uh, you can watch it on my channel if you want to see me do that. Uh, I'm gonna go back through it again and unlock the extra modes and stuff on there. But I love, I love Final Vendetta. So coming in, at, ladies and gentlemen, number six has to be Final Vendetta. Yeah, I really got inspired by Street Rage. This is me, and I ain't got no problem with that. I like that. Take from the best. Make your own thing out of it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like they how they got the Super Bowl from uh, Final Fight 3 in here. And they added a little bit of Streets Rage 3 to that Super Bowl that had immediately got to fill up. Very tight. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number five has to be the takeover. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the takeover. I remember seeing this game, like, shout out to I forgot his name. Uh I'll see if I can find it and put it in the link in the description. The guy on YouTube, he talked about the top 20 upcoming beat em ups or whatever. And he, I saw this, and it was uh, the takeover. And it, it got that old school Streets of Rage look. You play with three characters the, the main guy with the bandana around his head, his girlfriend, and uh, another guy. And you can unlock, I think, two or three. I think, I think maybe two characters on here. Because when me and my brother went through it and we beat it, and it was fun. We enjoyed every bit of it. And uh, it's your typical Streets of Rage type game. 
Uh, you got your special moves on there. You got a angry mode on there. They got that kind of from uh, Brawl Brothers. Shout out to Brawl Brothers. They do. You should. That's the first game I ever seen do an anger mode on there. They got an anger mode on there, and it's just your typical beat 'em up fun. They ain't trying to do too much. If it ain't broke, they ain't trying to fix it. They just add to it. Great game, storyline. Y'all know typical beat 'em up. This time they done kidnapped uh, the the girl that you play on there. Him and old girl, him and old dude, uh, daughter. They kidnapped her daughter. They daughter, and you got to go find them. And great storyline. It's pretty tough too. You ain't gonna straight just beat this, you know, probably on your first playthrough. Might you might die a couple of times, but if you just sit down and play it, it's fun. I enjoy that bit of uh takeover, ladies and gentlemen. So coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number what we at? Number five? I think we're at number five, trying to stay alive. Is the takeover. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number four has to be Fight in Rage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Fight in Rage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say it again, Fight in Rage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this game is off the chain. This is another straight tribute to beat em ups. The game, even when you turn the game on, it has the little loading ROM screen, like old school beat em ups on the arcade. You got that loading ROM screen. And this game is off the chain. Let me tell you about it a little bit. This game has like over 20 different endings. Shout out to my homie Marv. Me and him, uh, we went through it a whole bunch of times. And there's different scenarios you have to do. Uh, it's kind of a spoiler, but this happens in the first stage. There's a girl on there. If y'all want to do this, check this out. Because shout out to Marv. He, he, me and him did it together. He showed me how to do it. There's a girl on there, and she's about to get killed. And I kept, when I played it by myself, I never could save her. But if you can get a knife and save her, stop that dude from killing her, there's a whole nother storyline to it. There's branching paths in this game. And there's different, like I said, 20 different endings, 20 different ways to beat this game. That was so tight. It has what they call replay value. Love fighting rage, ladies and gentlemen. You got the girl on there. Hot. She on there. Uh, got the two dudes. The one dude look like a... Uh, a mix between Axel and uh, he, he's just like his own little different character. Then you got the uh, old boy Robert Bull on there. He look, he look like Rock, but he the bull. He pretty much an alien character, but he pretty tight. That's who Marvel was playing with the whole time. It was fun. We really did enjoy this game. It was off the chain. Uh, I'm gonna go back and play through it again, ladies and gentlemen, so I can uh, get get unlock more stuff. And was another tight thing about this: if you have the PS4 version of this game. And you mess around to get a PS5, you can get a free PS5 upgrade, which is tight. I appreciate Sony doing that. That's some of the one of the few good things they're doing lately, but we ain't finna get into that. But ladies and gentlemen, you want to pick this game up, it's available on all modern platforms, PS4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, PC, and I think it's available on Xbox. But ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four is Fight and Rage. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number three. Dang, we down to the top three. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number three has to be Double Dragon Neon. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Double Dragon Neon is considered modern. It first came out, I don't know if people know this, it first came out on PS3 and 360. You know, the generation before this, I think about 2010 or two. No, it was 2012, because I remember doing that game on my, my old channel, and I said that was my, my game of the year, Double Dragon Neon. And it's off the chain, ladies and gentlemen, but they re it back out not too long ago on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a Nintendo Switch fan, it's a good thing because you can get the physical version of this. They never did bring it physical on PS3 or 360. You only can do digitally download, but if you got a Nintendo Switch, you can actually buy the physical version of it on the uh, Nintendo Switch. I picked up a Nintendo Switch not too long ago, and I bought the physical version of this. I had to get it. I re-bought it again. But Double Dragon Neon, shout out to Way Forward. Shout out to y'all. Way Forward. Uh, they like pioneering the beat em up genre, so I give them that. They like, they going full throttle on beat em up games. And Wave 4 did a reimagine of Double Dragon Neon. It's your typical, you know what happened with Double Dragon, Mary, and I don't know why she out there on the corner like that, just, just chilling. Stick your butt in the garage, Mary. <laughs> they, they, go, they come in there, punch in a good taker, and you pretty much got to go through it. Do it safe. What's was so funny about Double Dragon Neon when it happens, Bill like, oh, not this again. <laughs> hey, you know we got to go through something. Bill know we got to go through something. But the funniest thing about what you make you like Double Dragon Neon is the last boss on that game. Uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, when you beat the game, when he's falling down, I'll just say this much. This ain't, it's kind of spoiling, but... Uh, he sings the whole time. I was just say he sang a song the whole time. And he'd be like, all I wanted was a date. He's hilarious. The boss, the main guy, Skullamania, I think that's his name. He is hilarious. He will have you rolling. Oh, he was so funny on there. Ooh, ah, you just be the game. Oh, man. I gotta go back through this game and beat it again just to, just to hear that song. It's amazing. Ah, I'm getting hyped just thinking about it. Hype, hype. Just getting hyped just thinking about it, y'all. Let me calm my head down. Sorry about that. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, pick this game up. It's on Nintendo Switch. The modern platform is on Nintendo Switch. I think it's still on PC, but they never did bring it back out on PS4 and Xbox and all that. But they, you still can get it on PC and Nintendo Switch. And if you got a PS3 or 360 laying around, I think you still get it on there. Make sure you get it on 360 soon because they finna close that 360 store. But that's another story for another time. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number three has to be Double Dragon Neon. Moving right along. Moving right along. Yeah. 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we wind this thing down, down to the last two. Now, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number two has to be Double Dragon 4. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Double Dragon 4 has been through some changes since it first came out. Double Dragon 4 first came out at $7.99, and it was on PS4 only, exclusive. But that now, when I went back and played it, they done did some patches to it. The patches they did, they added uh, Mission Select, you know, for you people that be whining about the game being too hard, I understand. Double Dragon 4 was a tough one. It reminded me of Double Dragon 2 back in the day, because Double Dragon 2 was hard. They passed it where, you know, they got a mission select on there. And they passed it where they gave you an online mode. I was like, wow, you got an online mode? Pardon, pardon the noise. Long man out there, you want to go cut right now while I'm trying to record. That's how life is, though. You got to keep rolling, it, though. Uh, but anyways, uh, they put a good patch in there. And they made it, um, like I said, they put an online mode and they made Mission Select on that. Which I just found out when I just popped it on. Because I beat this game when it first came out. And I remember, I remember IGN. That's why I don't like IGN to this day. It was a complaint about Double Dragon 4. The dude is talking about it. He don't know nothing about Double Dragon. He told some, man, it looks crazy. It looks old school. Wait, 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 wait. I was like, shut up. Shut up. Why are you even reviewing a game if you don't know nothing about it? That that happens a lot at IGN. That's why I don't fool with IGN no more. I, I listen to a review from GameSpot, uh, shit, even GameStop, before I listen to a review from IGN. But that's neither here nor there. I don't. That that's a little random mind. Sorry about that, y'all. But let me get back to, to down to business at hand. Double Dragon Four, ladies and gentlemen, takes place directly after Double Dragon Three. I was wondering why they said Double Dragon Four. Like Double Dragon Four, uh, in Super Double Dragon Four, technically, they're like, no, this. It's the number system crazy. It's like it take place after Double Dragon 3. And what done happened in this, uh, Marion done got kidnapped again. And this time, you fight, uh, there's two girl characters. They they over the whole thing. Two lady characters, and they over the whole thing. And they the last boss. But this game is a tough one. Double Dragon 4 wouldn't hold your hand. I see why they added the Mr. Select mode on there. Because it's tough. I played through it. It's tough. I beat it. I had help. But it, it, it's a tough game. I ain't gonna lie to you. I see why they had uh, Mission Select mode on there. Now you can pick whatever miss you want to go through and go straight through the game. Or you can still, you know, come from the beginning and go all the way through. Because I'm probably going to re replay through that game again. Because I love it. Love Double Dragon 4. It is Double Dragon at its finest. Fall is probably like, oh, the graphics don't look good. It look too old school. Shut up! You're only paying $7.99 for this game. Why are you complaining? Seven ninety nine, you get a whole bunch of stuff. You get, like I said, you get the mid select mode and you get a tower mode. And a tower mode is kind of like old, old school Double Dragon Nintendo, where you can play with all the characters in the game. You unlock them. You play with Joe, Billy, and Jimmy. Then the, the third Lee brother, forgot his name. You can play with him on there, and you can play with all the boss characters and have a one on one dual fight. Well, it's pretty tight. Shouts out to Angry Video Game Nerd. He played it when it first came out. Him and Mike Mattel. They loved it. They loved it. I think it's up on his channel somewhere. They loved it. It's a great game. I don't know why people are hating on it so bad. A lot of people hating on it because, you know, they, they don't like Double Dragon and they, you know, they kind of they kind of suck at beat em ups and they end up losing too fast. That's why they, for y'all to sit up there whining, they, they, that's why they added the Mr. Select Bowl. There ain't nothing wrong with that. I get it. They trying to appeal to everybody on that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shout out to Arc System World for making this game. But this game came out on the PS4 first. And I remember they never did make a physical copy. Now they got physical copies out there. I think uh, back in the day, Limited Run, shout out to them. Keep it physical alive. Appreciate that, y'all. They made Limited Run version of the PS4 version. I picked that up. I got it off eBay. I paid $60 for that. I didn't care. It's Double Dragon 4. I love the game. And now... I think Limited Run did another run of the Switch version, because the Switch version recently came out maybe one or two years ago. Break me from wrong down in the comment section. Now they got a physical version now, which is good. Buy physical media, ladies and gentlemen. Keep physical alive. If you got a choice between the physical and digital, try to see if you can get the physical. I understand, you know, sometimes the physical costs too much. If it costs too much, get your digital, because I ain't gonna lie to you, I got digital too. But when you can, keep physical alive. But that needs to hit over there. I'm sorry. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number two has to be Double Dragon 4.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are down to it, ladies and gentlemen. My number one favorite modern beat em up of all time is Streets of Rage 4. What? Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the longest, I thought we was never going to get a Streets of Rage 4. For the longest, my Streets of Rage 4 was Streets of Rage Remake. Uh, if y'all haven't checked, checked out Streets of Rage Remake, I did a playthrough of it on my channel. Uh, I have an iCard or a link in the description. Y'all go watch that if you want to. I'm probably going to play through it again. But because uh, Remake was pretty much a fan-made game, PC only, and did what Sega should have been did. But eventually, it took some years. I think for 10 or 15, 20 so many years, we've been begging Sega to make another Streets of 4, 4 game. Streets of Rage 4 game. And they finally got up, up off their behind. And Sega really didn't do it. They found it out to, uh, I think, .emu games or whatever. And they made it. And Streets of Rage 4 is an awesome game. If you don't know about Streets of Rage 4, you're not a beat em up fan, you need to get this game. This game is out on all the consoles. PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC. It's on all of them. And for a while there, when it first came out, it was, you know, free on Game Pass. But I don't care if it was free on Game Pass. I was going to buy the game. That's, that's Streets of Rage. I ordered it off, uh, I got me a physical version off of Limited Run Games. Shout, shout out to them. Took them a while to get to me. But I got the game, and it came with a soundtrack. Thank you, Limited Run Games. Appreciate you. They keep the physical live over there. And so I, I think you get the physical game for all the consoles now somewhere. If not, look on Amazon and eBay. They out there. But for the longest, I didn't know if we were going to be able to get uh, Streets of Rage 4. Kept getting delayed after delayed rumors, this, dude, this, that, and the third. But Sega got up off their behind. Cause I'm telling you, when fans speak and remakes happen, that's when these companies listen. Like, oh, they actually, they see, when they can see they can get some money, like, oh, they actually like Streets of Rage. Shoot, let's, 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 let's go ahead and make that. So Sega, shout out to the catch at .emu. <clears throat> Made Streets of Rage 4. And what's so tight about Streets of Rage 4? People was fussing about the art style. Talking about, it don't look right. Art style don't look right. Shut up. It looks great. <clears throat> so to appease, I give .emu credit. To appease modern fans that gave you that, that new you know, art style. New newcomers to beat Streets of Rage. They gave you all that new art style. And to appease us older Streets of Rage fans like myself, they put where you can unlock all the old school Streets of Rage sprites. Like Streets of Rage 1 Axle, you can play with him on there. Streets of Rage 2 Axle, Streets of Rage 2 Skate, Streets of Rage 3 Axle, Streets of Rage 3 Shiva. You can unlock all that on there. So this game has a lot of replay value. You can unlock, I think, extra, what is it? Without the DLC alone, at least you can unlock about 10 or 12 characters just playing through the game. Now, they did add DLC. I know a lot of people are upset about DLC, but this game, I know, yeah. Call me hypocrite, that's fine. But I will pay DLC. I never did. I'm against DLC, but I will pay DLC for a game that I love, that I really like, and that did good. I will pay that little, uh, well, how much that? Uh, Nightmare DLC, I think like $14. Now you can get it bundled in on the disc now. And I think it's like about $20 on Amazon. You can go get it, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes with the DLC. The DLC comes with um, Max, because you couldn't play as Max on there. You can play with Street Rage 2 Max, but you couldn't play as Street Rage 4 Max, which is, I don't want to spoil it. So you can play with Street Rage 4 Max on there, uh, Shiva on there, and you can play with uh, that, that female cop that was crazy coming after you the whole time. Then the three characters that you get, and you get a boss rush mode type of like. It's pretty tight, ladies and gentlemen. I enjoyed it thoroughly. But ladies and gentlemen, Streets Rage 4 is off the chain. If you're a Streets Rage fan, if you're a beat em up fan, you do yourself a disservice if you don't go pick up this game. This game is off the chain, great sprites. Um, like I said, they appeal to not only new fans, but old fans, and uh, they called in Yuzo Kosiro. It brought him out of retirement, and he helped make some of the music of this game. So you are here, like the the first stage, not the first stage, but the character select screen. That's him. 
He did that song, and I think he did one more song in the game. But that song, all the time, I sit there and listen to the, I let the music play. That song be hitting. Oh, it be hitting. Use Uncle Zero at his finest, ladies and gentlemen. And you got the storyline. This ain't a spoiler. I'm just telling you about the game. Uh, this takes place directly out of Streets of Rage 3. This is Mr. X's children. He had a son and a daughter, and they acting crazy. And, of course, Axel and them got to go and stop his madness. They children madness. These children, they just ain't learned their lesson. Mr. X got them doing some crazy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So, hey, that's what's going on in this game. But, like I said, it's beat them up at its fine. That's my favorite. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for my top 10 favorite modern beat em ups of all time, ladies and gentlemen. Leave comments below of your top 10 favorite modern beat em ups of all time. I know I missed some out right there, but I ain't. Tell me, yeah. Tell me yours down in the comment section. I want to know which ones I missed. Let me know down in the comment section. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos on the way. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out.